Therapy Chat Podcast, Episode 64. This is the Therapy Chat Podcast. The information shared in this podcast is not a substitute for seeking help from a licensed mental health professional. And now, here's Laura Reagan, LCSWC, with today's episode. Hey there, welcome back to Therapy Chat. I'm your host, Laura Reagan, LCSWC. Really, I'm on a bit of a holiday hiatus from making new episodes of Therapy Chat. I was actually sick last week. My voice sounded so terrible, I just couldn't put anything together. So I didn't put out a new episode last week. This week is the week of Christmas, and it's a time when I take off from my practice. So... I don't have a new episode in the series that have been running, the Trauma and Attachment series and the Integrative Mental Health series, but I did want to tell you about some other podcasts which I really enjoy and I think that you will too. So while you don't have any new Therapy Chat episodes to listen to besides the one you're listening to right now, I'm going to tell you about six podcasts I'm listening to and recommending frequently, and I hope you'll check them out. And I'd love to hear your feedback on these six podcasts and any others that you really enjoy. So the first one is Women in Depth with Dr. Lourdes Viado, MFT. I love Women in Depth. My friend and colleague Lourdes conducts interesting and, as the name implies, in-depth interviews on topics that people don't usually talk about. Lourdes is a depth psychologist who was mentored by Jungian analyst and author Dr. James Hollis. She is so knowledgeable about her work, and I love listening to her soothing voice. She just has such a gentle way of talking about her work. The podcast is fantastic, and I recommend it without reservation. So in the show notes for this episode, you will find links to some of the episodes of Women in Depth that I frequently recommend to my clients. Episode 10 was called Spiritual Abuse, What It Is and Why It Matters with Tamara Powell, LMHC. And then in episode 23, Understanding Spiritual Abuse Part 2 with Tamara Powell, I begged Lourdes to do a part two because when I was listening to it, I just wanted, when I heard part one, I just wanted more. And I was like, please, can you do more? So (laughs) she did. I'm sure I wasn't the only one who was really hungering to hear more about that. Episode 14 is Women and the Midlife Crisis with Diane Wingert, LCSW. And episode, episode 21 is one that so many of my clients have found to be deeply profound. It's called Healing the Mother Wound with Bethany Webster. That's just a very small sampling of Women in Depth's topics. As of now, December 2016, Women in Depth has only been out for five months, but I know that there's going to be even more great content in the future. Women in Depth covers subjects that people may consider off-limits or taboo, like infidelity, sexual abuse, staying in an unhappy marriage, and much more. I really hope you'll check it out and let me know what you think. Now I have to add that Lourdes was my guest on Therapy Chat too. You probably remember I refer to her episode all the time. Um, She was talking about the shadow. So that was episode 40 and in the show notes there's a link to listen to that if you haven't already. I've also been on her podcast. Okay, the next podcast I want to tell you about is called Mom and Mind with Dr. Kat Ritchie. Dr. Kat is a clinical psychologist who specializes in maternal mental health. She's knowledgeable, skilled, and experienced at helping people who are struggling with infertility, emotional health related to pregnancy, including pregnancy loss, and postpartum stress like depression, anxiety, OCD, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Mom and Mind is a fabulous resource offering information to pregnant and parenting moms 
fathers, and people who are trying to conceive, as well as healthcare providers and psychotherapists. I've learned so much from Dr. Kat and her podcast, and I recommend it frequently. So I listed in the show notes a few episodes that I recommend you listen to for starters. Episode one is Dr. Kat's postpartum story about anxiety and depression. Episode three is entitled Resources for PPD Healing and Learning. And episode seven is called The Good Mother. But the whole show is wonderful. I think it's really, it's a topic that we don't talk about enough. Most of what we hear about postpartum depression and anxiety are the horror stories that you hear about on the news, but it leaves so much unspoken. And when women and their partners are going through these emotional experiences, it can be very confusing and overwhelming. Having this resource to understand what it's really all about is invaluable and really this can save lives. So I think Mom in Mind is a fantastic and valuable resource. And I'm having Dr. Kat on my podcast soon, so stay tuned. In the future, you'll be hearing that episode. I'd say it'd probably be out in about six weeks or so. And I can't wait to share her with you listeners. Okay, so the next podcast I want to tell you about is hosted by someone I really love and who's been on this podcast twice. Galactic Vibrations is Carrie Nola and Lloyd Burnett's new podcast. Carrie and Lloyd are two wonderful, amazing energy healers and coaches. Um, Their podcast is brand new. It came out less than a month ago, but it's already a huge hit. So if you're into woo-woo stuff like me, you'll enjoy hearing their energetic forecasts, oracle card readings, and so much more. So you can get started with Galactic Vibrations by listening to the first few episodes. I think there are now four episodes, but I listed in the show notes episode one, Understanding and Healing the Energy of Denial. Episode two, Using the Energy of Fear to Unlock the Mystery of Ascension. And episode three, The Shadow of Force, The Truth of New Year's Resolutions and People Pleasing. So you see what I mean? If you like woo-woo stuff, you're like, oh yeah, that sounds awesome. (laughs) I've done coaching for business and personal growth with both Carrie and Lloyd, and they're great at what they do. And they're really a great team too. They're funny and they just really work well together. And as I mentioned, Carrie's been on my podcast. She talked about using intuition and therapy in episode 11, back when my podcast was called the Baltimore Annapolis Psychotherapy Podcast. And she contributed to my series of episodes on The Shadow after Lourdes' episode in episode 42. Links to those are in the show notes. The fourth podcast I wanted to tell you about, and I hope you'll listen to, is Launching Your Daughter with Nicole Burgess, LMFT. My friend and colleague Nicole Burgess practices in Indianapolis with a focus on teen girls and women. Nicole is super passionate about her work, and it comes through when you listen to her podcast. She's been kind enough to have me on her podcast twice. Once I talked about the daring way and the second time was about helping your daughter or son if they experience sexual violence. Nicole's podcast covers a wide variety of topics related to the issues of parenting girls. So in the show notes, you'll find three of her episodes that I've enjoyed. Episode 34 is one of the more recent ones, How Art Therapy Can Be Effective with Teens. Episode 33, How to Create Healthy Boundaries in Your Family. I think that's something that we all need, but oftentimes we really don't understand what it means and we don't know how to set them. So that's really important. And episode 31, another super important topic, Ways Parents and Teens Can Receive Support Around Suicide Prevention. That one's with Jonathan Singer, uh, another podcasting friend of mine who has a great podcast called The Social Work Podcast. I hope you'll enjoy listening to Launching Your Daughter as much as I do. Now, the last two podcasts I want to tell you about are super amazing ones for therapists who are building private practices. Both of the podcasters are my buddies. They've both helped me in tons of different ways, and if you're a therapist, you already know of them. 
And if not, prepare to have your mind blown. But if you're a regular listener to Therapy Chat, they've both been my guest. The first one of these two is Selling the Couch with Dr. Melvin Varghese. Melvin is an awesome psychologist in Philadelphia who wanted to start his own private practice. So like any good student, he set out to learn from people who've already done it. Melvin has interviewed dozens upon dozens of therapists and other experts in practice building to learn how they've managed to build successful private practices and other types of businesses. Melvin has interviewed experts on marketing, multiple income streams, running groups, building websites, creating Psychology Today profiles, writing books, mindset shifts, and so much more. He's had over 100 episodes so far, and his podcast is listed in the top 100 business podcasts on iTunes, which is a pretty significant accomplishment. I'm super excited for Melvin as he's now building his own private practice following all that great advice he's received, and I know he will help many people. So I listed a few of his most recent episodes. There are so many. If you're a therapist trying to build your private practice, I recommend you listen to every episode. But a few to get you started are episode 93, How Comparison Can Steal Your Joy. Episode 92, where Melvin talks about his morning routine and productivity. And episode 85, saying no as a private practice owner with another babe of mine, Allison Perrier, who uh, does abundance practice building. Melvin was on Therapy Chat talking about how therapists can use podcasting to grow their practices. And he really knows his stuff. He taught me pretty much everything I know about podcasting. Although if you don't think my audio quality is very good, don't blame Melvin for that because he's a real stickler for that and he does a much better job than I do. But podcasting has enriched my life in so many ways and it's mainly Melvin who I have to thank for it. So I'm truly grateful to him. In the show notes, you'll find episode 49 of Therapy Chat with Melvin Bark. He's a pure therapist who's interested in how you could bring podcasting into your practice and why it would be useful. And last but not least, the sixth podcast I want to encourage you to listen to is another brand new one. It's called Blissful Practice Podcast with Dr. Agnes Wayman. Now, another disclaimer here, I was the first guest on this podcast, but I don't love it only because I've been on it. Agnes is a psychologist in Ontario, Canada, who's learned the hard way how to create a private practice that feels blissful. She spent some time at the other end of that spectrum feeling burned out, and she wants to help therapists who are building private practices find their own bliss. On her podcast, Agnes talks to therapists about their journeys to private practice. I love her perspective, and I think you'll love her podcast. So since her podcast is brand new, and right now I think she only has four episodes out, but I put three of them in the show notes, episode three, why I became an, a therapist, which is Agnes's story. Episode two, networking guru Allison Salmon Perrier again, <laughs> one of our favorites. Episode one, therapist can change the world. A discussion with Laura Reagan, that's me. Um, and Agnes was one of my early guests on Therapy Chat back when it wasn't called that. Um, she talked about going from burned out to blissful, and. Um, she talked about how recognizing our own needs is a radical act of self-care. So now you have my list of six podcasts I'm loving right now. When you have downtime this holiday season, I hope you'll check them out. I'm really sure you'll find at least one you love. And don't forget, you're always welcome to listen to Therapy Chat, including this one. There are 64 episodes. And I would love for you to listen, subscribe, and leave a rating or review. Also, please visit iTunes to subscribe to Therapy Chat. Or if iTunes is not your favorite medium for podcast listening, you can also find Therapy Chat on my website, therapychatpodcast.com, or on iHeartRadio, Stitcher, or Google Play. It's even on YouTube. And if you're in Maryland and you want therapy to explore the vulnerable parts of yourself that are in need of healing, check out my website. You can get there through that therapychatpodcast.com. 
and click on work with me. And therapists can learn about my trauma therapist community in a little blurb that you're going to hear when this finishes. Just so you know, right now it's December 22nd and registration has recently reopened for my trauma therapist community and will be open through January 27th. The next cohort begins February 1st. The first group has one more month to go, but it's been such a beautiful experience and even better than I hoped. So I hope if you could use some support and community and you're a therapist working with survivors of trauma, you will consider joining us. Next week, we will have another roundup episode and then we'll get back in the new year. We'll get back on track with the series of um, podcasts about trauma and attachment and integrative mental health. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you have a lovely holiday that's joyful and peaceful and everything you want it to be. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Take care. Hi, I'm Laura Reagan. I'm an LCSWC, independently licensed social worker in Maryland, and I practice outside of Baltimore working with survivors of trauma. My particular practice is focused on working with people who have experienced childhood trauma, usually related to physical, sexual, or emotional abuse and neglect. I'm extremely passionate about my work, and you've probably heard me talk about it on my podcast, Therapy Chat. Over the now 14 years that I've been working with survivors of trauma, starting in 2002 when I was a volunteer with the Sexual Assault Crisis Center, I've come to discover that this is extremely rewarding work. It's so valuable and important, and at the same time, I say this to clients all the time, trauma is disconnection. What that means to me is when you've experienced trauma, it affects you. And we as therapists who work with survivors of trauma are also affected by hearing traumatic stories. We're witnessing with our clients what they've been through. And it is a beautiful, sacred privilege to be able to witness people's most terrifying and horrifying moments of their lives as told in therapy sessions. It's something I want to continue to do for the next 40 years. At the same time, for my clients, trauma is disconnection. They feel disconnected from themselves. They feel disconnected in their relationships. And our work together helps them get connected back with themselves so they can be more connected in relationships. We trauma therapists can often feel the same way. We become disconnected from ourselves. That means we're not taking care of ourselves the way we need to, so we can be well and continue to do our work for years to come, not to mention just having a wonderful, fulfilling, meaningful life filled with rich, loving, deep relationships. Oftentimes, trauma therapists find that we feel isolated. We don't feel connected with our coworkers, our supervisors. Sometimes the only people we feel connected with are our clients. So realizing that and having experienced it myself off and on throughout the 14 years I've done this work, I decided to create a trauma therapist community. I did this because I realized it was something that I was looking for. And it's kind of hard to explain what it is because it's different from anything else I've seen. I hope maybe that it isn't the only group like this, but it's the only one I know of. So the trauma therapist community is groups online and in person. In person groups are for people who can travel to my office in Savannah Park, Maryland. And online groups are for people anywhere. I'm calling them clinical consultation groups, and they are. But the focus of these groups is the effects of doing this work on us as therapists identifying the effects, preventing the effects, using strategies, supporting one another to overcome the effects of secondary traumatic stress or exposure to trauma through our work because we're trying to prevent burnout. So this community includes a private secret Facebook group only for members. 
It's time limited, so we can have a container. This will be a community where we can gather on Facebook and we have space for clinical consultation. So I wanna make it a space where everyone feels their needs are being met. We're supporting one another. You may be listening to this and thinking, is this for me? You might feel discouraged, but you're still hopeful. You're open to being creative and considering new ideas. You're passionate about helping your clients. You may not be the greatest at taking care of yourself and you want to get better at that. You like to learn. You love talking about our work. You want a space where you can share clinical information, but the main thing you need is community. If this sounds like you, please visit www.lauraregan.lcswc.com slash join or go to that website and click on Trauma Therapist Community. I welcome you and I would love to have you there. Thank you for listening to the Therapy Chat Podcast with Laura Reagan, LCSWC. For more information, visit Laura's website at www.lcswc.com.